Senator, listening to your concerns, they, they, they're legitimate, they're sensible. Is one of your concerns the idea that without this deal, Iran is free almost immediately to do whatever Iran chooses to do with regard to terrorism, war, killing Americans, or building a nuclear weapon? Uh, there's no question uh, that that's where they are today. I will say, you know, one of the analogies that a respected senator made uh, recently was, look, uh, you know, it looks like the administration may have said, well, look, we, we don't want a poor country to get a nuclear weapon, meaning they have sanctions against them today. Their economy is not fully functioning. They've got 100 to $150 billion tied up. We'd rather have a rich country get a nuclear weapon. So the other side of this, Mike, is that, you know, let's face it, uh, the constraints come off. Uh, research and development will have been done. Their ballistic missile system will be much stronger. Their economy will be strong. And so uh, what happens at the end of this period? Is it really an eight-year deal? You can look at it as an eight-year deal, or is it a 15-year deal? So look, um, there are qualitative issues uh, like the one that you just laid out that I'm sure everyone will be looking at.